What's up y'all, Kyle here. You're watching Driving and Vibing. In today's video, I am excited to be sharing the five best small camper trailers in 2020. And all of these will include a bathroom and weigh less than 3,100 pounds. So stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel today. Thank you so much for joining me here. We have a passion for small campers. Even though our Airstream Argosy, which is behind me, is 24 feet long, we spent our first three years of full-time RV living in a 16-foot fiber stream. That's a molded fiberglass travel trailer. So we learned a lot of the advantages of staying small. But there is a fine balance between being small and being comfortable. That's why this video is only including travel trailers or camper trailers with bathrooms. A bathroom is key if you wanna take an extended trip in your RV, especially if you're traveling with more than one person. And with all these weighing under 3,100 pounds, that means a half ton truck can definitely tow them and a lot of SUVs will be able to tow these trailers. So for us, a big thing was not having to buy a new truck whenever we first hit the road and having a small travel trailer was one of the ways we could do that, get on the road quickly, and more easily stay within our budget. So we're about to dive in to these five small travel trailers, but I wanna let you know we're gonna run through them very quickly. So if you want to dive deeper into any of these, uh, we just hit them on a high level in this video, but you can click the blog article, it'll be located in the comments section, and in the, in the description, it will go into more of the specs and more detail of each of these five small travel trailers. Without any further ado, let's hop in. First up on our list is the Sonic Light SL150 VRK. Now this is a pretty compact trailer and the MSRP is 27,000 bucks. But remember, that's just the MSRP. You can usually get 20 or 30% off that when you're actually buying it. This unit weighs right over 3,000 pounds dry, so that's before any of the tanks have any water or liquid in them. And uh, it's not too long. It's coming in right around 19 feet, so that would be pretty easy to tow. By no means the smallest on the list today, though. The tank sizes are black tank 30 gallons, fresh tank 38 gallons, pretty good size tanks for a smallish RV. Now, the interior height is 82 inches, so most people can fit comfortably in there. If you look in the back though, that is a Murphy bed that comes down, pretty cool addition. Kitchen, pretty normal, two burner stove. The sink does have a lid that goes over it, and it's pretty deep. The wood flooring is faux wood, but it gives it that warm feel. And you know, any touch to make it feel residential is always a benefit. The shower and the toilet are separate. This is a big issue for a lot of people. You know, some people do not want the wet bath, so this gives it to you in separate places. I really like that unit. It was one of the ones that popped out at us at the Tampa RV show. Next up on our list is the New Camp Tab 400. Now, this is a much more compact unit than the last one, but its MSRP is right around $42,000. That's pretty expensive. Again, you can cut that down, but a pretty high starting point. You can see though, the angles are real nice with this. The dry weight is about 2,800 pounds, lighter than the first unit. And you can see the clearance is much nicer with these off-road ready tires. And that durable front guard to you know, protect it from rocks going down the road, right over 18 feet in length. So I would say this one is definitely more mobile than the last one. And it has those cool touches like these circular windows, fresh tank 22 gallons, black tank 12 gallons, much smaller, uh, so that could be an issue depending on how long you want to stay off grid. As we come inside here, you can see those circular windows on the inside, looking pretty cool. Definitely a lot of style points this one gets. The sink has that built-in lid on it, which is nice, and you still have another two burner stove on the right-hand side. Interior height, pretty tall at six feet, seven inches. That should fit most people, but the interior is curved, so that's at its highest point. You can see here the cabinetry of the kitchen. Uh, pretty standard RV kitchen, but not bad for being such a short rig. Now this is a wet style bath. The sink is fold down, so it makes that space extra useful whenever you can fold up and fold down the unit. I know some folks don't like wet baths. I totally understand. So if you don't want a wet bath, then this new camp isn't for you. But I do like how compact this one is with the angles going up on the front and the back. So you can really take it 
off-grid to more remote locations. Next up on our list is the Vintage Cruiser 17 SCD. This one is fun because it's supposed to look like a vintage RV. And the MSRP is 24,000 bucks. I heard them uh, haggling down to about 18,000 at the Tampa show. So you can probably get it for much less than that MSRP. Driver weight is uh, 2,600 pounds about, not bad. But you see these moon little hubcaps that just uh, note back to that vintage style. And you get this fake wood paneling stripe on the side. This one's coming in at 20 feet though. So that's uh, probably the longest of the bunch today. I would say it would still be easy to tow, but just keep in mind, it has a little more length to it. Nice awning though, fresh water, 27 gallons, black water, 33 gallons. Those are gonna be about the best size tanks you can get in one of these small travel trailers. Now this one has a dinette in it with a bed in the very front interior height is almost seven feet. This one felt the most spacious whenever I walked inside as far as the headroom goes. There you can see the front bed, all this like fake warm wood uh, interior, kind of cheesy in my opinion, definitely not the style I would want. But if you like that sort of style, it's pretty cool. You got the two burner stove, the sink as well with a lid on it and a good amount of storage underneath. Here you can see the toilet and the shower are separate. So that's a big selling point because you don't have to use a wet bath. And you know, if you wanna use the toilet and take a shower, you don't want the area to be all soaking wet. It's cheesy in my opinion. Uh, but you know, at the Tampa RV show, I saw a lot of people showing interest in this unit. So for each their own, if you like the vintage style but don't want a vintage travel trailer, it's a good compromise to meet in the middle. Next up on our list is another one harkening back to the vintage style RVs and this is the Riverside RV Retro. So this one has a beautiful awning on the outside as you see here and it has a rear door entry. The MSRP is right around 18,000 bucks. I think it's the most economical on a list today. Um, dry weight, 2,500 pounds, not too bad, really middle of the road as far as what's on our list. It does have the moon hubcaps as well. Very nice touch. And, uh, but what I don't like is kind of that ribbed aluminum that is on the outside of it. It looks just a little cheap, but that's the price. Fresh and black tank, 17 gallons. So that's very, very small tank size. But you're getting a small RV here that's gonna be super easy to tow. With this rear entry, you have a more um, freedom on the inside to design a functional layout and you just saw that 16 feet in length is the whole RV. This wood floor again warms it up a little bit. Seating on the right, uh, kind of bed area in the very front and uh, you got the curved roofs with the storage at the high points in the middle of it but it's not all going to be high. The headroom in the middle is going to be the highest point. It sleeps four people. I would not want to try sleeping four people in there but you see the fridge pretty nice size. I'm not going to be complaining about that. So you got a good amount of food storage. And again, the bathroom, like most of the other ones, is a separate toilet and shower. This is a big deal because you get more space in the bathroom. You're going to get more comfort when you're taking a weekend trip on this. Riverside RV Retro. Uh, I guess these vintage looks are pretty popular these days, but it was getting a lot of looks at the Tampa RV show. And what I really liked about it was the rear entry to be more creative of the interior layout. So uh, the side entry sometimes makes it challenging for like a dinette or an extra sink or kitchen area. So rear entry, cool points for that uh, vintage style, if that's your thing. Last up on our list is the Forest River R-Pod RP190. These R-Pods are very, very popular among the small travel trailer enthusiasts. This one has an MSRP right around 27,000 pounds, and it has a few unique features that the other ones don't have. The weight for this one dry is right around 2,760 pounds. You see these off-road tires uh, to take it down the highway nicely, but also durable enough to go off-road. 20 feet long and it has this kind of curved front and back which gives it a more aerodynamic feel. Fresh and black water are both 30, pound, 30 gallons and you get this nice slide out which none of the other um, small traveler tra travel trailers have. This really gives you a bigger area on the inside, makes the kitchen feel a lot more spacious to have that slide out. The interior height is 6.5 feet, not bad for a small travel trailer. Most people could fit in there comfortably 
electric propane fridge, you know, that's nice because you can save a little power if you're not hooked up. And again, the separate shower and bathroom. I think what stands out most about this one is that it has that slide out, really creating more interior room. And the bathroom is a little bit larger than some of the other ones we looked at with actual counter space. Pretty cool in my opinion. Those are the five awesome small camper trailers that I saw for the 2020 models at the Tampa RV show. Let me know if there are any others you like that have bathrooms and that weigh less than 3,100 pounds. I really wanted to include some Airstreams on this list, but all of those weighed just a little too much. So you're gonna have less and less freedom the more you weigh about what your tow vehicle can be. So keeping it lighter helps not have to get a new vehicle and new vehicles are expensive. So having to get new two new things can be pretty pricey. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. Click that blog article if you want to dive deeper into any of those. And thank you so much for joining us here today. See you next time. Later on.